Hi everyone, this is Dr. Mike, host of the free iTunes podcast, Psychiatric Secrets Revealed with Dr. Mike, but that's not why I'm here today. This is another Saving Savvies episode, this time talking about a free photo program called XN View. This is a small little program that you can download from CNET, or I think you can also download it from their webpage, which is xnview.com. It's kind of a Swiss Army Knife program that does a variety of different things. And it's basically a photo viewer. Um, it has some limited photo editing programs. It gives you a lot of information about the photos. But the feature that we're going to look at today is its batch converter. And the batch converter allows you to take a number of files and convert them in various ways. For instance, turning them or adjusting their brightness or maybe changing them all to black and white. But the function that we're going to look at today is the ability to take a variety of pictures and batch convert them to a different size. Now why is that important? Well, it's important for a couple of reasons. Most cameras, they produce pretty big files, which is great if you want to manipulate the file or maybe uh, print it up, but not so good if you want to use it in other formats. So, for instance, if you want to send a several files to or several photos to a friend via email, or you want to upload some pictures to your web page, or if you want to upload a photo album to something like Facebook, you're really going to want a smaller file because it's going to be much quicker to upload those files. It's going to be much quicker for people to download those files, and also it sort of protects you. There was a recent case where a lady published a uh, Christmas card, and on it she had a full resolution photo of her family. Well, she was surprised several months later when someone found that picture uh, being used as a full page advertisement for a European grocery store. So this was a lady that uh, I guess she got a little notoriety that she didn't want. Now, if that file was in a smaller file size, it'd be very difficult to blow it up to a full size ad. So it kind of protects you too. So let's take a look at how this particular viewer can be used to batch convert files to a smaller file size. Okay, we are now in the XN viewer at a little closer view. There are a couple of different ways to select pictures. One way would be to just shift and click like you normally would uh, to in any Windows program or to control click, but we're actually going to use a tagging little radio box here. We're going to tag these files just for the heck of it. I'm just going to pick these here and let's say we wanted to convert these pictures for a, a Facebook album. So we're going to go up to the top of the screen and you're going to have a radio a little uh, icon here say convert. We're going to press that and we're going to pick tag files because we tag these files. So we'll say tag files. There's a bunch of files that we're going to do and the important thing is to uh, know where the output's going to be. So a good idea would be to create a separate file folder, let's say in this case I'm calling it web, and I'll send my pictures there. If I send them back to the original file folder, I run the risk of overwriting my bigger files, and I don't want to do that because those bigger files are going to be great for printing up photos or editing photos, not so good for the web. So I've created that folder, very simple, and here are the pictures that are going to get transformed, and I'm going to pick transformation. There are many different things that you can pick in transformation, as you can see, just tons of stuff, but what we're interested in is resize. So we're going to press resize here, and then we're going to go and add it over here, and down here we can pick the size of the resize. In this case, we're going to pick 800 pixels by 800 pixels. Now you can pick a smaller size or a larger size depending on uh, what you want to do, but I think 800 by 800 gives you a picture that still has enough detail in it, but yet it's small enough. And we definitely want this keep ratio button clicked. That means that the pictures are going to retain their right dimensions. They're not going to be squished or expanded, making your pictures look funny. Down here you'll see that there is a, another drop down menu. This gives you a variety of different ways that the program is going to calculate the resizing. I'm just going to pick the default here. So that's all we have to do. Now we go down here, press go. Believe it or not, 
overwrite it we'll say yes it's done and so that's all it took to resize all those photos so let's take a, a look and see how well they look here we are with our converted files you can see that they're perfect for web browsing here you see our two very friendly cats you can see they really like each other but you can see the other photos are just fine too not too big not too small great to send in the email or for your Facebook album or even for your web page again you can change the sizes of these photos to whatever needs that you have I think the 800 by 800 uh, format is good for most uses so thanks again and please give a listen to my free iTunes podcast just go to iTunes and look for Michael Kuna that's K-U-N-A-M-D uh, and you'll be able to subscribe and get lots of great information Take care.